I went from working as a butcher to earning two grand a week making creepy monster creations. And here's how I did it. Ones like this would sell for about 60, 70 pounds. The more elaborate ones, they can sell for about 150, 180 pounds. I try and make them as gross as possible, but everyone turns around and tells me that they're cute. The biggest moment of recognition, Snoop Dogg shared it on his page and he's got God knows how many millions of followers. I think these ones might be a bit too scary for the viewers, these ones here. I'm going to be making some weird stuff today. It's going to be fun and colourful. The creatures are priced anywhere between £10 to up to £200. I can make between £1,000 to £2,000 a week. This is the yellow clay. I've rolled it really thin, like pastry. So I'm pushing it down. It picks up any lumps and bumps. Every creature I make is unique. At the minute, it's just a blob. But as I'm turning it, a face usually starts to um, emerge. I'll be using this to make any impressions, any holes, any dents. I'm gonna go with a brown eyed creature on this one. Uh, smaller eye. I spend well over 100 pound a week on um, supplies. So that's the eyes in. No nose for this one. My little belly button. I'm happy with that one. I'm gonna make a few more now um, before we bake them all. I've always liked weird things uh, since I was a kid. Anything that makes me feel uncomfortable. When I first started, I'll probably sell three a week. Now, on a good day, it can be like four or five creatures. These are all finished. Um, I'm gonna pop them in the oven, bake them, that'll firm them up. These are all my bits and pieces uh, that are all in my shop, ready to be sold. Plastic resins, it looks like liquid, different colored slimes. What inspired me to make my first creature was, I had some clay left over because I used to try and make my own latex. Uh, masks. I just started rolling the clay up into a little ball and made a little, I think it was a, a zombie. I was quite surprised with how good it looked. I think these ones might be a bit too scary for the viewers, these ones here. Yeah, especially this one here. Painting is definitely my favourite part. It's where you can really see it um, start to come to life. It stops being just a plain lump of clay and starts to becoming more lifelike and like a creature. Any little cracks or crevices, try and get a little bit of paint in there just to give it a bit more depth. Dark red will give a like a richer colour. A lot of them I think I bought um, for gifts for, say if you've got a weird friend and you don't know what to get them, you get them a weird little creature. Sophie Ellis Bexter bought something. Jodie Marsh recently bought a present for her boyfriend for Valentine's Day. The final touches, clean up the eyeballs and the teeth. I'm going to attach some hair. I'm happy with how they've turned out. I'm going to take some photos of them for my Instagram and Etsy. I'm going to sell the smaller two, probably about £60, and the larger one, probably about £70, £80. The photography part is um, very important. I get most of my sales through Instagram. Every time you get a sale, you get a little ching on your phone and it's uh, still to this day is a really nice nice sound i think i'm pretty weird for making this kind of thing people who actually want to buy this weird stuff they're probably a bit weirder i'd love to keep doing this keep making money people are always going to want to buy something a little bit weird i'll be here making it. 